Hello, my name is Ian, and today I wanted to share with you a quick hack to get proper color when you're putting a CG thing in footage that's real. So, historically, for me, color has been very confusing, and <laughs> it's hard to get the levels to match up properly, and I don't completely understand it, but I found a hack that works pretty well for somebody who doesn't understand color very well, and that that's me. So you can see, I'm in the compositing window here, I've got my CG guy, I've got my video background, and the CG guy doesn't really match up in the color, but when I plop this RGB curves onto the node here, you can see the dark levels and the bright levels, that all starts to match up pretty nicely. So this is a pretty simple, easy way to get that to work. Let me show you. First of all, deleting that back to square one, you can see here I'm just getting a movie clip running through an alpha over. I've got my render layers with transparent background that's also going in on top of the movie clip. And you can see here I've also got a simple mask that's just tracked to make it kind of look like the guy is behind this tree branch here. And you can see I've also got a subtract node up here that's taking the alpha and the mask and putting them together. And that's just so the alpha channels line up properly to make it kind of look like the feet are behind the tree branch. And that is going out into the factor of the alpha over. Now this alpha channel going into the factor is pretty important because if we don't have this and we do the technique here, going shift A, dropping in the RGB curves. If I start to warp this around with the base contrast, basically, things start to get out of whack really quickly. So by just applying this to the factor, you can see it only affects our guy. Okay, so here's the actual technique. If you look up here in the corner, there's actually red, green, and blue channels. And if we select those, it kind of is like soloing the different this is like all the red colors in the image, this is all the green colors, and this is all the blue colors. And then all combined together, that's what makes this image. But if we look individually at each of the channels, that helps us match up the colors quite a bit better. And in the RGB curves here, you can see we've got the red channel selected instead of the contrast. And what I'm going to do is just grab the corner here and just bring it up until these darks start to match up with the darks in the image. And if we zoom out a little bit, you can see this is about as dark as it gets over on these tree branches or in the actual jungle over here. And this is a little bit too dark still at the moment. If we grab this and drag it out, you can see there's actual nice values that we can grab and hold shift to make very fine adjustments. This might actually be too bright here. So let's grab it, hold shift, drag it down. And I would say that's blending in pretty nicely with the background here. Okay, so that's the red channel. Let's just do the same thing to the green and the blues. You can see here's the greens. The greens are pretty important because they're pretty much the primary color in this image. So let's make sure we get things proper here. Once again, just looking at the darkest parts of the image, looking at the brightest parts. I think the brights are pretty good, but the darks are a little bit too dark. Let's just drag this up ever so slightly more. And it's kind of cool if you go F11 and look at the viewer node. Let's see, red, green, here we go. You can look at the channel and you can actually right click and down along the bottom, you can see all sorts of values. Oh, that's just telling you the total. Yeah, that's interesting. So you can see there's values for green, red, and blue along the bottom. If we look at this, the green is like 0.33. If we look at this, the green is like 0 0.30, so it's actually a little bit darker there. <laughs> so we could probably take this and drop it down a little bit more if you want to be really, really stupid precise, which this is a hack. We don't want to be that precise. <laughs> Let's move along to the blue channel. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, so now let's switch back. Here is how you can see all of the color channels at once again. And you can see our guy is really starting to blend in pretty nice. And if we take this out, you can see the before and the after. Very nice. If you're interested in continuing to learn about visual effects in Blender, that's what most of this channel is about. So definitely go ahead and check out some of the other videos here. In addition to that, I also have a gift for you. And that's this asset pack of smoke elements. They're seamless and looping, so they can be really handy in a lot of sci-fi situations where you've got like smoke and atmosphere going on. Just drop these into your Blender scene and you can really quickly create a nice realistic atmosphere. There's a free download in the description and that comes with tutorials on how to use the asset pack. But hey, I'd say other than that, I hope you have an excellent day and stay tuned because there's a lot of really exciting tutorials coming up.